welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video newsletter I'd like to offer you a free Demaic guide that you can go to now and download using the link in the video description below. So before you watch today's video click on the link and get your free guide now. Welcome to the latest video and in this video newsletter what we're going to take a look at someone sent me a comment on the bottom of one of my YouTube videos and please drop some comments if you want videos making then by all means um, make a request and I'll make a video specifically for you on the subject that you ask me about someone asked me about the books you should read I think it said as a consultant so I'm just going to cover some books that you should read uh, books that I have in my collection but before we start one thing I'm going to say to you is what books should you read every book you can get your hands on would be my advice every book that you have the time to spend to read it all um, sometimes even if you open the book and you're not sure you agree with what's being said you're not happy to read the text it's maybe a little bit difficult to read or whatever I still plow on and read the book because in there you never know when you will come across a golden nugget that expands your interest your understanding of a subject that you're interested in so what books should you read every flipping book you can get your hands on would be my advice so the books I'm about to give you are just the ones that I've happened to have read over my career there are some really important books that have changed my view uh, of how manufacturing plants run and all sorts of things but um, I'm going to go through about 17 books now I'm not going to go through them all I don't have the time I will put a table of the books at the end of this video but just before we look at the first few books I just want to talk to you about the way I'm going to split them up so here's what I've got in my book collection I have effectively I would say three types of subject of the type of books that I'm reading there are books on lean there are books on Six Sigma which I would call technical problem solving uh, the book from Joseph Duran, for instance, is 1951, predates Six Sigma by a good 25 years, 35 years, um, a good 35 years. So I've got lean, I've got technical problem solving, and I would say process improvement books. Now, most of these are sports related. I'm, I'm a sports fan, but I love to read stories about world class teams, world class performers how do they get to be world-class because it's usually some kind of process improvement technique and because that's what I'm all about I like to read those I like to read those books so they're the sort of three areas that they're split into and then I would say they're also split practitioner level and leadership level and finally I might say in the practitioner level I would say there are reference books which has got some technical thing in there that I might open go to a particular page to look for some help on a particular subject so there's reference books and then I might call them how-to books all right so and this is where I like to work I'm, I like to work at a practitioner level I like to go and help people who make money the people at the point of activity who make bucket loads of cash for everybody how can we make bucket loads of cash more and make their day less frustrating and make their processes work easier and cheaper for everyone so that's typically where I like to work but I do have some leadership level books as well so I'm gonna start off by talking about let's have a look I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna pick out some some lean books to start off with so um, so I have three books here now these are books that I would recommend that you read 
um, you know, this, this one is almost a case of, I don't want you to go searching for this stuff. These books are like gold. And this one would be another one. This is from, this is a Six Sigma book, which is about understanding variation, the key to managing chaos by Don Wheeler. Now that's a Six Sigma book. Um, it, it's great at both of these levels. That is just gold. It's only about 130 pages. You can see it's quite small. But you know what? Man alive, you can make some money if you take on board what's in that text. Um, the other books, which are definitely more lean in nature, The Goal by Ellie Goldratt. Go read that. That is fantastic. That book changed my life, uh, changed the way I thought about the way manufacturing processes uh, worked. Uh, at a really great age, I was about 27 when I read that. And this is the book that I've given away most. I have bought this book maybe 15 times. I only own one copy, however, because I've given the other 14 away. So it's very surprising that I've still got a copy. The Gold by Ellie Goldratt. The Gold Mine by Fred and Michael Ballet. As I said, I will put these uh, on, a, on a page for you and you'll have all the titles and all the um, authors. Um, this is very similar to the goal. Both of those talk about flow and how to make products flow through the belly of your organization to make the most amount of money. You can see I've got some post-its on here because uh, there are some lessons to be learned out of that book. And finally, of course, The Machine That Changed the World. Um, well worth reading. When you read how productive Toyota were using lean, compared to the American manufacturers back in the, the early 1980s. It's frightening. Toyota were literally five times more productive. Not 5% not more productive, five times more productive than the American manufacturer. I mean, it's just frightening. When you read this, you realize how powerful lean could be. Um, so a book very well worth reading so those books for me are absolutely go to then the others well whatever you can find folks let's talk about a couple of sports books will it make the boat go faster this is about uh, eight people rowing at the Olympics trying to win the gold medal these boys win the gold medal by the way it takes them three years to sort it out but they win the gold medal and part of their process improvement when they were talking about what they were doing, will it make the boat go faster? So will it make the boat go faster is a great read. And by the way, you can watch the video of the race when they won the gold medal. When you read the book, man, the, the video is interesting. That's a great book. The Pressure Principle. Now, Dave Aldred is a, is a sports coach. He coaches golfers, rugby kickers, all sorts of things. So it's one of these. Uh, and Dave's got some principles that he applies to every sport. Brilliant. You can apply them to your manufacturing process. Go read that book. Uh, reference books. How about this small tome? This is the Quality Control Handbook. This is by Joseph Duran. And I think this is 1951. This book was first published um, this is, a, this is a reference book, but if you dip into this, every single page of this is Six Sigma. This is what's, where Six Sigma got its spiel from. Um, it's a book that I use now and again as a reference text. Obviously, there's 1,600 pages in this. I don't read it, but I do dip in now and again when I'm looking for specific advice on specific quality tools. So there's a, there's a Six Sigma book. Getting slightly more statistical, um, The Lady Tasting Tea. This is a book about the history of about 20 st statisticians, mathematicians, who've helped us in the world of quality improvement and the world of science in order to be able to understand our world so much better. And of course, when you're doing process improvement, that's what we're trying to do. So this is trying to understand where all of this science, where did all this maths come from? So this is me trying to be a better um, 
a better leader and coach by understanding my subject. What else have we got? The Toyota Way kind of speaks for itself. Um, statistical methods from the viewpoint of quality. Walter Schuett. This is the man that invented SPC. This is the man that uh, really started the, uh, the, the kind of thought process that Six Sigma is attached to today. This book is from 19, the 1930s. It's quite difficult to read at times, but there's some great statistics in this book. What else we got? Statistical Thinking by Yuri Bram. Let's have a look. 72 pages. Great stuff there about just how to apply measurement properly and how to make sure your measurement is telling you the truth and you haven't accidentally omitted something, accidentally set up a measurement system that isn't quite telling you what you want to, what you need to know. So some great stuff in there, um, statistical thinking. Um, now this is just me, the history of statistics. Again, this is me trying to be a better, a better leader and mentor to my clients. I'm trying to understand where all of the stuff came from, who developed it, why did they develop it, etc., etc. So you know, I don't expect you to go reading the history of statistics. This relates to my job. So my advice, you know, books you should read, jobs that rel books that relate to your job. Go find them at all levels whether it's the theory at the bottom, the how-to, practical books, everything you read is gonna enhance your ability to be a better engineer, a better consultant, a better leader, a better trainer, whatever it happens to be. And these are just my, these are just my texts. Um, there's a book here, Lean Thinking, uh, which again, goes fantastically well with the Toyota way. This is all about lean, how it's set up, how it works, etc. So some good stuff in there. Um, and then there's a couple here which are just about uh, numbers, really. Bad science, how numbers can fool you a little bit. So that's a, that's a, great, that's a great book again, uh, from the point of view of setting up measurement systems, don't make the same mistake. And one here, super crunches. Um, how people are using data to understand their processes better. So all of these are kind of over here, process improvement, uh, process improvement books. That's just a quick flash through some of the books that I've got in my uh, bookcase. I'm going to leave you a, I'm going to leave you a list. I'll put a table on the end of this video. If you've got any suggestions and you want to leave comments below, please do because there are a million books out there and probably every single one of them contains golden nuggets that we'd all like to be using. So drop your comments and we'll put a real big list of recommended reading together and I hope to hear from you soon.